Hi, in this quick tutorial we're going to show you a cool way to create a really simple title. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I have a layer here that I've called background and I'm going to use a simple dark grey to light grey gradient uh, radially as we always do to set up the background. It's a nice background there and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this noise. Oops. Just noise and I'm going to make that a mediumish blue. Um, just I've, I've changed the color here to mediumish blue. Then I'm going to press X, and I'll, that'll exchange the colors. It's the same thing as clicking here. So if I press X, it'll click there, and then I'll press Command or Control if you're on Windows and Backspace, and that'll fill the entire layer area with the background color. And then I'm going to click Filter at the top, Noise, Add Noise. And then I'm going to do 3% uh, monochromatic uniform. Then I'll create some noise on the blue layer. And then I'm going to change the layer to soft light. So as you see, that blends into the, the, um, the grey background and you can see the noise. The next thing I'm going to do is create another layer for more depth. I'm going to call this clouds. <sighs> clouds. Um, I'm going to press D. And as you see, D has the same effect as clicking this button. It refers, it changes the colors back to black and white. I'm going to press X to change the colors to, uh, to exchange the colors around. So black is the background color. And I'm going to press command backspace to create black. I'm then going to press filter render clouds. And that'll create some clouds here. And I'm then going to take my clouds and change the layer mode to overlay. That'll create a really nice textured effect on this noise. And then I'm going to change the opacity of this layer to 50%. The next thing I'm going to do is create, obviously, the text for this title. So I'm using a big, bold font, and I want the color. Uh, well, at the moment, it'll be white, but we're going to change that. And I'll just write here a cool title. Um, and that's our title at the moment. I'll press Command and Enter to finish editing the layer. Press V to bring up my... Um, to bring up my cursor and just move the layer into position. Now we're going to start adding effects to this layer. So the first thing is I'm, I'm going to stretch it out, make it a bit bigger. Uh, and I'm then going to uh, click on my effects panel here. And I'm going to show you some cool ways to really make this stand out. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a gradient overlay. And the gradient I'm going to use is, um, a, again, a dark grey. So I'll uh, put the dark colour around here and the light colour around here. In fact, let's pull up these values to make them a bit lighter. So the dark colour, make it around here, and the light colour around. Now, at the moment, this doesn't stand out too much, but there's one really easy way to make it stand out. If you duplicate the layer and take off the gradient overlay, you'll remember that we left it a, a, a white colour. Then move it below the cool title, and I'm going to call this uh, cool title Bevel. Now, it's a really nice way to make a very simple Bevel effect, and that's to take the background layer, which is now just plain white, control or command T to transform it, and just move it up by one, or if your composition is a bit bigger, two pixels. I'm using a, um, a 400 by 800, so uh, sorry, an 800 by 400 canvas, so I'm going to just move it up one pixel, and already you can see that the title pops a lot more than. Uh, without the without the one layer on it, and that's because it's just given a, a given a bevel effect, and it looks quite 3D. And of course, we can um, we can duplicate the the effect the same way by doing the same thing on the bottom, but instead calling this shadow. And if I take off these two effects, just so that I take the shadow layer, and I make it completely black, that'll just add more effect. So now with the cool title. There's a black layer underneath and a white layer on top, and that just increases the harshness of the depth of that effect. So that was a really quick tutorial to show you a very simple way to create a very cool title effect, and I hope you liked it, and as always, mess around with the colours, see what you can do, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.